Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Elasi Fiawe, and today we're going to have some interesting updates here. You know, tomorrow, Accra had to folk are taking part in the Cup Confederations Cup playoff first leg versus uh, JS Sarua. A hectic journey the team had uh, from uh, Algeria into Ghana. We're going to look at their journey down into the country. Uh, they have arrived with 19 players uh, to book a place in the group stages of the Cup Confederations Cup. We're also going to talk about the Ghana Black Stars and their preparation uh, for the next stage of qualifiers, uh, which is the playoff places. Uh, dates for the playoff places have also been confirmed uh, by FIFA and CAF after that extraordinary conference meeting. And we'll talk about South Africa also apparently they submitted some evidence in uh, which uh, we do not have privileged access to but it looks like they beat the deadline that the fa are using as basis uh, for submission of evidence uh, to help them in their case versus the black stars in the world cup qualifier protest we'll have a look at all that today as usual subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so i'll start off from the camp of the ghana black stars and we all know we are preparing for the playoff places if everything goes well and south africa's protest does not yield to anything uh, the black stars will have a chance to meet either of uh, as the top five ranked teams algeria nigeria and the likes uh, in the next round and uh, for that game uh, there's calls for the inclusion of players like kevin prince Boateng. former ghana black stars uh, player uh, dan Kui has called on the football association uh, to include the likes of kevin prince Boateng in the team dan Kui, he is of the opinion that kevin prince Boateng uh, will add a bit of bite to the ghana black stars team and some bit of experience now he says uh, ghana black stars defender says the playoffs will not be easy because the remaining teams are difficult uh, truth be told our performance in the group stage was low and we only pray to get a good draw the coach must sharpen the team before the playoffs and now Koye, a member of ghana's team at the 2006 world cup has said now he said i believe this is the time the team needs experienced players i'll be happy if the coach invites jonathan mensa yeah i agree with that one jonathan mensa is doing well with columbus crew yeah, kevin prince Boating, quite a question mark there harrison navo i've called for him also to be included at right back uh, there's a problem at right back for the black stars uh, john boy doing well frank a champo into the team i want the inclusion because they have tasted the qualifiers before and will not struggle and now it seems we are joking because uh, depending solely on the young ones will help us african football is different from that of europe Akamal Din Suleimana is a fantastic player and doing good in France, but he has not been able to fit in well with the Black Stars because African football is more aggressive as compared to European game. At this moment, we need more experienced players to be able to qualify. Boateng last turned up for Ghana during the 2014 World Cup and has since not been included in the team after that role uh, with coach Kwesia Pia. Well, uh, quite an interesting take here by Dan Kwe saying that the current crop of players in the team do not have the experience to play in these playoff games. It will be quite interesting to see what coach of the Ghana Black Stars Milovan Rajabak will do with this collapse should all these not heal to not South Africa's protest that is. And now CAP have decided how the playoffs will go and they said uh, the five highest ranked teams will host the second legs in their home countries uh, which means Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Senegal and Nigeria will travel away for the first leg and play the second leg at home. Initially it was speculated uh, that the playoffs would be played in one venue and to be a one game playoff that's in Qatar was a proposed venue by yesterday all that was cleared up and we now know that the playoffs will be played a two-legged game uh, the top ranked teams uh, will play away uh, before playing the second leg at home. Now talking about the protest that South Africa have submitted uh, to FIFA, it looks like Safa, who lodged a complaint uh, last week in and around last week, had submitted some evidence. Well, when I was reading the GFA's response, I said I hope that um, they did it, uh, but probably the GFA are not aware. It looks like Safa 
have submitted new findings to support their case of referees bias in Bafana Bafana's controversial game against Ghana. And now the hope is that it will lead to a rematch between South Africa and Ghana after they fell Senegalese referee Mogeti Ndiaye and made a number of glaring mistakes in the qualifying game. And now Safa believes Ndiaye clearly biased on the night with a dubious penalty that was awarded most specifically at the center of the controversy related to perceived match manipulations. Now, according uh, to Times Live, Safa have since submitted additional supporting documents to their original complaint to FIFA before the 20th November deadline set by the world governing body. More evidence was brought forward and Safa managed to send it to FIFA before the deadline, an insider was quoted as saying. It was hoped that a decision would be reached this week, but as the delay goes on, it is clear that it has not been come a simple matter to adjudicate. South Africans are all looking forward to the results of these findings and whether it will lead to a rematch or not. Ghana also anticipating making it to the next round of the qualifiers, which is the playoffs. So there is a lot of people looking forward to the verdict that will come up from this. And it turns out South Africa submitted some evidence before the deadline. More evidence. Would it be damning? Would it lead to a rematch? Only time will tell. Hopefully this week, issues of this will be resolved resolved and we'll know how things will go on that front but Safa did submit evidence before the deadline according to this report we'll see how that will influence the the result or the verdict that FIFA comes out with my final story has to do with Accra Hatsufu who will be playing JS Sarua tomorrow Accra Sports Stadium actually and now Sarua arrived in the country yesterday with 19 players and it was a hectic travel for them uh, they reportedly I traveled from Algeria to Tunisia before transiting to the United Arab Emirates, Dubai. According to JSRS page on Facebook, the team spent two hours in Dubai before eventually flying to Ghana safely. Sarua eliminated AS. AC Concord in the second preliminary round, beating them 3 to 1 aggregate. Whereas Hasoko have dropped from the Camp Champions League after a 6 2 defeat on aggregate to Wydad. Hearts and Sarua appeared in the first leg playoff round for a place in the group stages of the competition. Sarua, after four games in Nigerian League 1, sits fourth on the table with seven points, uh, with Hearts of Oak occupying last but two positions in the Ghana Premier League. Not a great season start uh, for coach Samuel Buedu and Accra Hearts of Oak. Uh, they will hope to bounce back uh, versus Jess. Sarua in the CAF Confederations Cup. Hopefully, they get back to winning ways. With Gladson Awaku, uh, who came back this week, it's quite an interesting interview talking about uh, running stomach and issues uh, with his health that had hindered him from starting for Accra Hatu Hook. Uh, we hope they can put all this behind him. But he feels that uh, the fans should forgive him. He's sorry for his actions and inactions in not play for the club. Hopefully, Awaku's uh, a return will mean the Hatu Hook will get back to winning for Bauli time will tell. Let me know your predictions for that game. Akra Hatsu Hook versus JS Sarua. Tomorrow we'll have that game here. The highlights will be on the channel. We hope Akra Hatsu Hook are able to get a convincing win in the first leg before they travel to Algeria. So that has been it for today. Calls by Dan Kui, former Black Stars defender. For Kevin Prince Boating to be included in the Black Stars squad, South Africa did submit late uh, evidence uh, to FIFA. They did submit it in time and uh, teams the GFA were not privy to that. Also, Accra to Hook, GSRO are in town for that game in the Accra Sports Stadium in the CAF Confederations Cup. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the weekend.